QuickBooks Online 2024, how to access the software. Get ready and some coffee because we're diving into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Whenever learning a new software or practicing with a particular software, one of the first questions that will come up will be, well, how can I get access to the software possibly for free if possible so I can use the software for practice? Different softwares actually have different obstacles with regards to this question of how can I get access to the software for the purpose of practice. For example, let's take a look at Microsoft Excel because most people are familiar with how it works. If you were to buy Microsoft Excel, you'll typically then download it onto your computer, which means we would call it, say, a desktop type of software. And once you have the software, it would be fairly easy to take a course in Microsoft Excel because first, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. You can create multiple sheets multiple workbooks within Microsoft Excel. You're not having to use one particular uh, workbook that you might already be using for business to follow along with a particular course. When you move on to online software, web-based software, such as a QuickBooks Online, the outline is usually a bit different because you're not gonna buy the software and then create multiple like worksheets in the comparison of Microsoft Excel workbooks, worksheets, Instead, you purchase it on a company by company basis. So you might have access to QuickBooks Online already, for example, but you're using it for your business. So if you wanna practice using the software, you'd like to have some kind of sandbox for the purpose of practice. So that's the obstacle that we have. The scenario that you might be in is, one, you don't have any accounting software or you don't have QuickBooks Online and you're thinking of moving to it, for example, or two, you already have QuickBooks Online, but you still have the problem of, I'd like to practice somewhere. I'd like to follow along with the course in a step-by-step -step basis without using the data that's in my current business file. And learning things in a step-by-step -step basis with a practice problem is really the best way to learn. And ideally, what we would like to have is the same thing on our screen as is on your screen so that we can work through our practice problems step by step. So we're gonna look at the different tools that QuickBooks provides us and see how well we can utilize these to meet that goal, to try to use it purely for practice, to try to make it as hands-on and interactive as possible, to try to have every step on our screen matching what's on your screen to the extent that we can. So what resources do we have? So QuickBooks Online often offers a free 30-day trial. So we'll get into these in more detail. I'll just list them right now. They often also have a free student version. So you can look into that if you qualify for the student version, that would be great for practice. They have a free test drive, and then you can look into, of course, discounts if you were to purchase. Let's go into each of these in more detail, and I'll talk more specifically how they might fit into utilizing in our course, how we might utilize them in the course. First, the QuickBooks Online 30-day free trial. So we're at a screenshot of the Intuit, owner of QuickBooks Online webpage, where we see the toggle on for the free 30-day trial. This webpage is actually a little bit difficult to find, so we'll show you later how to get here from the Intuit, owner of QuickBooks webpage. You can also get here usually by just typing into your favorite browser, say a Google search for QuickBooks Online free 30-day trial and look at the results that way as well. When you toggle this on, it's actually a little bit scary because the prices basically go up. So the idea from Intuit's side, QuickBooks side of things would be it would be cheaper if you don't take the 30-day trial. And then if you take the 30-day trial, you get a free 30-day trial, but then they increase the price after that point in time. 
I would think the idea from Intuit or QuickBooks side of things, what they would like to be happening would be that you completely commit to putting your actual numbers into the uh, 30 day trial so that after 30 days, after you're using it, you're basically locked in at that point in time and you have to go forward with it unless you wanna go through the pain of changing the software again, which is a pain to do. So I would suggest that if you're practicing, if you're testing out the software, what you would like to do is at least run a parallel between the, the stuff you're putting into the new software here for 30 days and your prior accounting system, run it the same numbers on each system for a while so that you can commit to it to see if it's, if it's what uh, you would like to do. And generally, ideally, if you're testing it out, you'd like to test it out for the 30 days uh, without being forced to then purchase it at that after that point in time. So you'd like to be able to practice with it and then possibly see if you can purchase at a later point in time, possibly looking into discounts, talking to your accountant to get the best price at that point in time. From a course perspective, what we would like to do is get the software, the sandbox with a free, uh, with just a nothing in it type of situation for a new company file. That type of scenario is perfect when we're trying to practice the setup process, which is often the most difficult process. If you're starting a new company file and you're trying to set up the company file from scratch, that is one of the most difficult things to do because you have to then put in line all of the underlying uh, uh, things in order to get everything set up, like the, the chart of accounts and you know your bank account and stuff lined up uh, if, you, if you're gonna be tying into the bank feeds and that kind of stuff. All that foundational stuff needs to be in place first. If it's properly in place, then it's gonna be a lot more easy going forward. So we would actually like to use this kind of scenario on the second half of the course when we're gonna get into the more difficult process of starting a company file from scratch. So if you wanna jump into that right away to start a company file from scratch, you can jump to that part of the course. But the easier thing to do at first to get to know the software is to do what often happens when you go to a new company, for example. If you go to another company and you're gonna be working in QuickBooks, you're not gonna be setting up a new company file from scratch, you're gonna be working with a company file that has already been set up. So your goal there is really to deconstruct what has already been put in place and try to, try to see if you can understand the process and then continue on with that process, possibly making changes as you go. Usually if the process is built well, those changes being small changes, not huge, changes. So that's the first thing that we'll start out with is actually starting a new company file and then saving this for the second half of the course. And you want to make sure that once you, if you're using this for practice, if you can get access to this for practice, you want to make sure that you're maximizing that 30 days, if that's what you have for practice, and then turn it off at the end of that, <laughs> at the end of that process. Uh, so you don't, so you don't get charged. And then if you want to be purchasing the software, you want to look into discounts and whatnot and seeing if you can talk to, to an accountant and see if you can get the best price on the purchase side. So there's also the student version. Now this, you have to be, uh, you have to be able to be eligible as a student. Uh, and usually that would mean that you're going to some kind of accredited school would be one of the conditions, but you can look at the, at the website here for more information on that. The easiest way to get to this place is usually not from the Intuit website, but rather just type it into your favorite browser, QuickBooks Online uh, Education Edition or free QuickBooks Online for students or something like that. And you'll and then you can you'll usually be easier to find this for some reason. So it says here a free platform to help build financial confidence for today's generation, get students excited about finances with a flexible interactive curriculum that utilizes real world tools into it for education is a free and flexible financial literacy platform for high school students that offers real world tools to get them excited about finances. So this is for high school particularly. I think they have some, some uh, other educational uh, capacity as well possibly for college students which uh, might be similar to the free 30-day trial but maybe you get it for longer than 30 days right it would be nice to have it for 60 days or something like that we have a long course here we got lots of we got a lot to go over 
So it would be nice to have it for a longer period of time. So you could look into these options if you're going to like an accredited institution uh, and, and see what you can do there. Then we have the test drive. Now the test drive is available to everyone. And uh, the, the good thing about the test drive is that it already has data in it. Now that, that's a pro and it could be a con. It's a pro if we wanna practice navigating the software. If I wanna take a look at reports, or I wanna take a look at how to do data input of invoices and bills and whatnot, it's good that it already has data in it because then I can actually look at a report that has information in it because then I can actually enter invoices that have customers, bills that have vendors already assigned, items have already been input into the system. So we can practice using an accounting system that's already built. So if you're completely new to an accounting software, the first thing that we wanna do, as we will do in this course, is use some type of system or some type of, of uh, software that already has data in it so that we can deconstruct it deconstructing something is easier than building something from an engineering kind of standpoint right so if you if you if you if you had to build an engine without ever having seen one that's going to be quite difficult if you see the engine and you're able to take it apart then it's much more likely you might be able to put one back together right so that's that's the idea so we'll start the first part of the course here using this tool now it's the great thing about this tool is everybody has access to it however it's possible QuickBooks could change the numbers over time, number one. And number two, when you log out of this software and go back into the software, then the numbers will revert back to where they were before. So it's not well suited for a long problem uh, that you wanna practice over multiple days because it's gonna delete the data that you put into it. Also, if you, are, if you already have an Intuit account, a QuickBooks account, sometimes it gets messed up to try to get into this account because it basically logs you in as a universal login, I think is the general what's happening. So you might wanna open it up in like incognito mode or in a different browser than your actual company file if you're using it for practice. But it's great also if you actually have QuickBooks online, but it's your business file and you wanna practice with something. Well, then you don't wanna practice in your actual company file you want to use this file typically to do that. But remember, if you're logged into your business file, you won't be able to do that in the same browser oftentimes because Intuit will try to log into a different account to get into this test drive. So you can use an incognito window or a different browser. All right, so this is what we'll use in the first half of the course. Now, when you want to purchase the software, after you do a test drive or after you take the course or, or whatever, and you're convinced that this is right for your business, then you might want to look into the, obviously the best price that you can get. You might want to ask your accountant or a QuickBook advisor to see if there are any uh, discounts available uh, and, and, and then purchase the software uh, in that fashion, uh, looking obviously for the best price on the purchase. In other words, what we're trying to do here is find places purely for practice, sandboxes that we can use for practice, either a sandbox that has nothing in it which, which might be good with the student files of the 30 day trial so we can practice setting up the software from scratch or sandboxes that already do have stuff in it, such as the test drive so that we can practice navigating the software with stuff that's already in it. Let's do a quick look on how to find some of these things from a browser. So let's first I'll, I'll go to Intuit. So this is Intuit, it's intuit.com. This is the owner of QuickBooks page. So this is the first place I would typically go because QuickBooks has a lot of different web pages within it. So I always start from the source here, intuit.com, intuit.com. Then I'm gonna go to the QuickBooks software. Intuit owns different, different softwares, MailChimp, TurboTax, and so on. We'll go into the QuickBooks website. When you go into the QuickBooks website, this is the change, this is the page that they change most often. It's typically geared towards QuickBooks Online, but I usually go all the way to the bottom where they have this products area. The products area has been here for a long time. And then I can go into here and I wanna go specifically to the QuickBooks Online uh, page. And in the QuickBooks Online page, you will see that you, this is where that toggle happens. Now, again, if I hit that toggle, it's scary because the prices jump up. 
So you got to remember, if I'm hitting that toggle, I'm trying not to be locked in to anything past the 30 days. I'm trying to practice for the 30 days. Is how is is so you want to make sure that you you know what you're doing uh, when you're when you're taking the practice file and how you're going to implement it and whatnot. And you know, so read the terms of service and all that kind of stuff. So in any case, uh, that is that one. Now, if I go into the the test drive, that's different than the test drive. Remember, if I scroll down here. I think there's a test drive when here it is. So it says take a test drive. So I believe this is going to give you actually the, the test uh, drive company file, which is different. Now, I think the easiest way to get in, into here, because sometimes they change this page. They haven't changed this page for a while, but you know they could change this page. So if they were to change anything, then you might just type into your favorite browser QuickBooks Online test drive. And this is what we'll do a lot going forward. You might be a little bit less comfortable doing that because now we're gonna go into a, 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 a random search. But if you can see here that it's from intuit.com, Intuit is the owner of QuickBooks. So you feel pretty secure that you're in a solid place. So I would look through here and say, okay, where's the test drive? Is it coming from Intuit, QuickBooks, Intuit.com? Okay, and then I'll go into that. And then here's going to be our test drive. We're going to be using the United States test drive here. I'm not going to be using the advanced, but just the normal. It'll usually ask if you're a robot, and we're going to say we're going to say that we are not a robot. And then we'll go into the sample company file, which already has data in it. So you can see how that's going to be important because now I can navigate around here. So this is going to be the tool that we'll use for the first half of the course. Second half of the course, we'll, we'll go into using, uh, see if we can use an actual company file, which possibly you can leverage the free 30 day trial for. And then if you want to look into the student file, you can look into, I would just type into your browser, uh, quick books online, free student something like that and it gives me the free 30-day trial uh, register and activate quickbooks online student trial so you might be able to find something like that here and then read through uh, their process register for the for the intuit education program verify your eligibility duh, duh, and you can activate your student trial so get started so this might give you access to uh, the software possibly for a longer period than the 30 days. So if you're at any kind of accredited institution, uh, then you might look into that in more detail and that might be a, a, a really nice tool.